Hi, my name is Zilang, and I am currently working as a strategy analyst in Capital One. So prior to coming to Capital One, I actually read law in uni, and I went on to do the bar. So I'm kind of an unregistered barrister, um, but but currently I decided to take on a different path and just join Cap One as a strategy analyst. My name is Matt Holt. I'm currently working as a graduate strategy analyst for Capital One, based in their credit infrastructure team, and currently working in the Nottingham office. Uh, I studied a master's in chemical engineering from the University of Manchester with an included year in industry. Um, I've been working for Capital One since September now and have really enjoyed the journey so far. So I was first drawn to like the world of finance because of the realization of the impact it could have on people's lives. So I truly believe that finance um, is a great enabler. Um, it allows people to uh, take care of their basic needs and also like to create opportunities um, just by using finance. And I wanted to work in finance um, so I can be part of that mission. And while researching, um, a friend of mine told me that I would be a great fit at Capital One. And that's when I actually like looked deeper into it. And you know what? He was right, actually. Um, Capital One's mission to change banking for good was what drive, drove me here in the first place and also made me feel that I am actually like contributing to my personal um, aspirations and to also um, help people in the community through finance. typical day um, really truly depends on the team um, that you work in because we all have different projects that we're working on. For myself um, and for all grads in general, we aren't sort of coddled. Um, we're very sort of self-driven in terms of like leading our own projects, even from the early start. But we receive a lot of support from both our team members, like our managers and mentors that we have throughout like the business. Um, but a typical day typically involves like some numerical analysis for a project or preparing like a slide deck with analysis that we produce to sort of share out with team members or pre present to various panels in terms of here's what we found, here are our suggestions on what we think we should sort of do with our next steps. Um, typically throughout the day there's probably a social interaction particularly with working from home whether it be an informal coffee with just a few colleagues um, or having a one-to-one -one with your manager just in terms of like a development update or um, just to sort of check in um, particularly seeing as we can't have that in office sort of experience over a desk chat um, just sort of touching bases and keeping up with everything that needs to be done. I have worked on multiple projects, but I would say like the most memorable one uh, would be HMT Breeding Space. So I was tasked with launching a full-scale regulatory solution, uh, which allowed customers to, uh, who are in financial difficulty to gain further support. So although I'm just a grad, um, I was giving, given really high, expect high expectations, high responsibilities in a good way, um, and was the strategy owner of the project. Um, so while I was doing the project, I worked with people in different teams. Um, there was a lot of collaboration uh, with people in operations, in legal, in tech, to deploy the project and to make it come to life, basically. And on my side, um, there's a lot of like um, crunching numbers for the valuation, uh, mapping out the customer journey end to end, and also just lots of decision making in general, which is really, really very exciting. My top advice would be to not be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. So if this is something you really want to pursue or it just seems kind of interesting, but you have not really had much exposure in, so not be afraid to just step out and explore. So coming from a legal background, my experience with numbers, you know, and like finance has been fairly limited, but I would definitely encourage people who are in the same situation to just leverage your ex existing skill sets and work to your strengths while keeping an open mind to learn new skills. As a strategy analyst, so a lot of our strategy and um, work is data driven. So having strong problem solving skills and analytical skills um, is definitely a plus. 
So being able to master data analysis tools such as Excel, um, SQL, and Tableau will also help you go the extra mile. My primary piece of advice for graduates looking to get into finance is don't let the title of your degree be a limiting factor. Um, my background is definitely not in finance, coming from an engineering background. I've had very little exposure to that. Um, but not letting any of those sorts of degree titles, we, we hire from all diverse backgrounds. And part of that is what makes us good as a business. Um, having those diverse hires, we have very different backgrounds and experiences, and it offers a lot of different insights and opinions. And naturally leading on from that is don't be afraid to sort of speak up and share your opinion. Um, always be prepared to ask questions, whether it's why we do things a certain way, um, because sometimes it might not, it might be a question that's already been asked, but sometimes you just look at something from a different perspective. So don't ever be afraid to sort of ask a question. Um, we much prefer people asking and being inquisitive than um, people being tight-lipped and keeping their thoughts to themselves. Well, I think for this question, um, while doing a course in university with people who are in similar backgrounds with you, who are learning, uh, who are kind of have similar goals with you, um, doing the same subject, and also coming to the working environment where you're working with a lot of diverse people, people from different backgrounds, that can be quite a different experience, I would say. And I would say that um, the working experience, like working with different people um, with diverse perspectives, that's really an eye opener. And also um, that really helps a lot in like um, exploring different perspectives and brainstorming sessions. So that can be quite fun actually. I think for someone starting the first day of a new role, um, don't be afraid to ask for help and advice. So there's a lot of resources. You have a buddy, you have a mentor, well, at least in Capital One, um, to help you, to support you. And everyone in general is just really, really willing to help and give support. Just don't be afraid to ask for it. My piece of advice for someone starting their first ever new role is always be yourself. Sometimes it's very easy to fall into the facade that you try to be someone you're not really trying to fit in on that first day um, always be open and be yourself because that's when you have the best opportunity to sort of deliver your best work if you're not passionate or fully invested in what you're doing because you're trying to put on a different front um, it can be quite difficult to focus all your attention on certain tasks so being yourself and don't be afraid to ask questions um, you're brand new on your first day. It, it's the perfect opportunity. It's a complete learning experience. So um, people really enjoy when people ask questions because it shows that you've got the confidence to sort of speak up, but also the inquisitive nature that you want to learn and you want to get that full understanding about what you're being involved in. There are many things I like about my job, but if I were to boil it down to like two main things or two key things, it will be the people that I work with and the work that I'm doing. So in Cap One, people are generally very, very nice and the company truly cares about our well-being. So the culture and the flexible working is definitely one of the key things that I've come to appreciate a lot, especially in lockdown. Um, and one of the things that I cherish the most in Cap One. And the kind of work that I'm doing is also really, really meaningful. And I can actually see how it has a direct impact on customers' lives, how it's changing banking for good, and also to um, allow me to, to see that actually what I'm doing actually goes towards something that is tangible, which is something that I really, really like. The main reasons I like my job, um, ironically, is the people I work with, um, although I've never met them we do have sort of a strong connection in terms of we have regular meetups in terms of virtual settings and it's a really open and inclusive place to work where we can really like to be ourselves um, we can have a laugh and a joke around but we also get that sort of work focus um, approach at the same time which is a really nice balance 
And particularly for me and my role, it's quite dynamic because I work on some of the, um, some pieces of work that are quite responsive to certain things going on in external environments, um, which is both quite interruptive, but really challenging. And that's something that I really enjoy because um, you never know when something's going to appear in your inbox saying, oh, can you just action this because some something's occurred. Um, and that for me provides the day, each day's truly unique. Um, there's certain ad hoc tasks that you've got to do on repeat, but um, that dynamism of not having that sort of fixed day-to-day -day activity um, is something that I really enjoy.